Hi, I'm Chris Lee. I'm a hustler and I'm a watch geek. Boom, watch fan. Part of the reason why I think watches are a little bit more important than just, it's not just the hunk of metal. And it's not just like to commemorate something, it's, it's the relationship you're thinking about. You can have a watch that's expensive, but it's not special. Just because it's rare, doesn't mean it's special. And like, a special watch is cool. This is a Grand Seiko Spring Drive Chronograph with a GMT complication, SBGC221, I believe. Grand Seiko people don't hate me, but this one is amazing. I wanted that thing so bad. Oh man, like I didn't think I'd ever see it in the wild personally. Um, and like you said, it's like, that's a serious watch. I've been lucky enough to connect with a lot of folks from Grand Seiko, some of the best people in the industry I've met. They're like awesome. Uh, and I stopped by and they had a huge pop-up shop and I was looking and I'm like, you have it. I'm like, you have it. I was like, I've never been able to see it or put it on wrist. And I was like, I have a question. I was like, I know it's a 2017, the white dial. How many times do you think I'll see that in the wild? And they came back, they're like, technically the watch is still in production. I said, okay, I need to make a phone call. And so uh, I called home, I said, look, I'm looking at it right now. And she knew that, so Christ my wife, Christine, she was like, she knew that this was like, this is the watch for me. Christine, she is the smartest person I know and is the most important person to me in the entire universe. In IT services and consulting, um, the joke I always tell people is that like, there's a running joke that developers and analysts don't get along. Well, Christine is probably the best analyst you will ever meet. I was a relatively gifted developer. That's, that fight is the cornerstone of our relationship, but what's cool is that that lets us cover each other's blind spots. I don't do anything I do without her. Um, I wouldn't be here like in the place I'm at without her. It's team sport. It's all about team sport. But the fact that like when I, I had, what I tell people, I say, what do you think of when I say Seiko? And they say, oh, I think of like my dad's like JC Penney, like quartz. I say, what do you think of when I say Grand Seiko? And they go, I never heard about that. And when I stumbled across it, I, I was like, the cases look nice. Like, this looks classy. This looks different. And I like this. Reading about it, reading about it. And when I started hearing about the different movements, I was like, okay, so high end quartz, give or take, not everybody's thing. Uh, the, the high beat stuff. Okay, cool. Spring drive. What? To see their thoughts about here's our view of time and how time moves very slow. I will sit and look at my watch for just one minute. Like people do like the calm apps. I just go click and I just watch that smooth sweep. I can make an hour go away like that. I can make two minutes feel like forever. But like when I go and I just watch it, it's like, yep. So like the, the movement alone totally had me. And then when I learned about this watch, GMT complication with chronograph, and the mix of everything, dude, like this was the watch for me. The metals, and this is part of the reason why I think that this watch is like super special to me. Normally, like some people say, hey, you want a watch of all of one material. Like this is a matte ceramic watch, okay, cool. Or a steel watch, or a platinum watch, a gold watch. What struck me about this is like the ceramic and the durability of that. It's like, I'm not gonna, yes, it's pretty like, oh, you can shatter. It's like, do you shatter sapphire? It's like, no, it's like, okay, so you're fine. So the fact that it's something that's as, that's gonna hold the luster like sapphire is amazing, but the mix of titanium with the weight was super cool. My background, I, I, I'm mixed. Uh, my mother is from Boston. She's a Caucasian of Polish descent. So we're always joking, like, strong like boo. And then my dad is full-blooded Chinese, first generation in, in his family, born in the States. He's from New York. So it's like, I've got Boston, New York. I'm born in DC. I'm as mid-Atlantic as it gets. And so when I see a watch that's like a mixture of like two really cool materials, I mean, that's, that's me. My father's an engineer. I went to college to be an engineer. I like things that were mechanical. And I grew up around fast cars, race cars. And so like when I watched old racing, you would always see these logos. And it's like, oh, what are those logos? And then like when I was super young, I watched Steve McQueen's Le Mans. And you see that Hoyer and Ma, and you're like, I'm like, oh, that's cool. And I was like, I really would like like a chronograph like that or that square watch uh, at some point when I'm older.
So you save, you save, you save. And when we were in Vegas uh, for an event that I put on out there, we walked into a jeweler and it was like, I really want, I really want a Carrera, I really want a chronograph. And we walked in and talked and it was like, this is the first like step up. It's like, you know, when you're rocking like an Iron Man or like, you know, maybe a Seiko, but it's like, I always wanted a Tag Heuer Chrono. And it's like, I want a Carrera. And this is like right now, if I sold, like if I was like, hey, move this, a couple hundred bucks. No, because it's priceless to me. And what's awesome is that I have a Carrera and my wife has a Carrera. So we have kind of like the couple's Carrera, black face, silver bracelet, her has diamonds. Class, she's a classy lady. I see this watch, it's like, this is the first like grown ass man watch. This watch is a mouthful. Um, it is the uh, Tag Heuer Matte Ceramic Carrera 01, it, it's a long name, but it is, a, it is a black matte ceramic chronograph that Tag made, uh, really quite, Quite a cool piece. You celebrate the wins no matter how small they are because winning feels good. And when you build momentum, like one of the things I talk about in class is that, is that winning, I mean, it's, it's the molecules of success. So it's like every win should be spent. It feels good. If you're thinking about going in business for yourself, you will never work harder, but like it never tastes better. And when you eat what you kill, it tastes good. And so early on, you know, work's starting to trickle, you know, trying to get your legs under you. And when someone calls and says, we want to do this, you're like, sweet, let's go. We were in Vegas, uh, this is a couple of years ago, uh, in one place, actually the place that I bought my first, uh, I just call it the big boy watch, the first tag that I wanted. We, we were walking around and I was on the cell phone and, and we sold a deal. And it was like, sweet, high five, into the watch store to just browse. And when Christine is like, that's the watch. They have a polished one, but the matte one, it's just, it's super subtle. It just looks like a big, cool, black hunk of mechanized art that's awesome. And I was like, oh, I gotta do that. Uh, tried it on, it fit just right. Chrono action's good. It is a tank. And it just reminds me of that, you always gotta hustle, man. Hustler's watch right here. It fits me really well, personality-wise, it fits really well. And I just really love that you never see them. I mean, that's, that's, that's the coolest thing I think about watches. You can get the one that, oh yeah, hey, there's that, there's that. But the fact that people come up to me and either say, I've never seen that, or how did you get that? That's, to me, that's the best. I love that. This is the hard to get, super hot Tudor Black Bay GMT. What I was enamored by is once I like, learned about like the GMT complication, I was like, I gotta have it, I live on planes. So I was like, huh, what really is cool? And just the nature of the aluminum bezel, uh, you know, the, the other stuff that other manufacturers are doing look really cool, but this one really spoke to me. I gave a call to my contact in Vegas. I said, hey, can you get this? And he goes, no, I can't, but there's somebody I want you to call. Come see me first. So I went out there, he makes the call. He says, go here. I go into the next place. Um, and I was like, hi, I hear that uh, there's a chance that you have a Tudor Black Bay GMT here. Uh, if I can put it on wrist, there's a 99% chance I'll buy it. And they said, we'll be right back. It was in the back. They came out and it was actually on a strap at the time. They lay it out they, you know, put the, and they're like, well, we have a client that ordered this, but he's thinking about it. And I basically pulled out the credit card and said, I'm not thinking, let's do this. You gotta buy the watch. It's like if I would have pump faked and not gotten the watch, I wouldn't have it right now. Do you they're, pump fake ever? Never, pull the trigger, always. Always. This G-Shock right here, this is very special to me. You can have a watch that's expensive, but it's not special. Just because it's rare doesn't mean it's special. And like, a special watch is cool. When I saw this, was it, ba I forget, Basil 18? I saw it and I was like, <gasps> and there's a picture of me, my parents have somewhere, of me rocking the old G-Shock. Like, it's super funny, I'm like, and I'm hanging it down. It's, it's, you know, black, it's all cool. And when I saw this, I was like, oh my God, it's a throwback to the old 135th anniversary, full metal, I'm like, I want it. So I'm going around, I'm like, hey, do you have this? They're like, no, do you have this? No, have this? No, impossible to get. People that did get it out of the Soho boutique, flipping it for like 3X. And I'm like, I like it, I'm not paying 3X for a G-Shock. Um, and a good, very good friend of mine and I were like, man, that would be cool to rock those. And so we're looking, we're looking. He's like, nah, I don't think you're gonna find the watch. And I was like, no, no, no. Like, like challenge accepted, literally. And so I'm looking around, I'm climbing, I'm crawling, crawling, looking for people. And eventually, an Instagram account that I follow puts up a little review. And I'm like, hey, nice review. If you ever get a lead, let me know. It was like, we heard that Jared uh, might put some online. Gallery the gallery of jewelry. And I'm like, no. And so I call 
I call Jared, I, I call, they say, they say, put this in, I send a thing, and I talk to a place in Charlottesville, Virginia. They said the rumor is Charlottesville, Virginia has some. And I call him like, hi, I'm looking for this specific reference. And he goes, hang on, because we don't have them, who did you hear this from? And it's like somebody from somebody from somebody. He goes, well, hang on, let me check our special order website. Oh, it's in here. Do you want to order? And I'm like, 100%, like I want to order this. He goes, I go, I'm on the road. You would have to come to Charlottesville. And I'm like, okay. Hold, hold two watches for me. Cause I was like, if I can get one for me and one for basically my number one watch homie, I'm like, okay, we're going to do this. And then it was, uh, he was like, well, we can ship it to another Jared. I go, well, I live by one. Okay. So I call them. I'm like, hi, they put a lock on this, but they go, sir, you can actually just pull that up on our website. And sure enough, I pull it up and I'm like, so I immediately get on the phone. I'm like, dude, go to this link now. He's like, ah, I'm watching TV. I'm like, no, go now. And we go and I'm like, We've got to order it. So beep, 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 swipe. We're like, sweet. I go, do you have a confirmation? I have a, con I have a confirmation. We're like, high five. Well, we look back later. We're like, maybe we'll buy some more. Gone. I think we got like the only two they had listed. It's a little bit easier to get now, but like for all of last year, people say, it's like, wait a minute. That looks like the old G-Size. I said, yeah. And the fact that it's like, you know, it's got the little Bluetooth thing. So change is good. Stopwatch. It's cool. But it's cool one because it throws back, but it's also, it's like because of the chase and being able to get it, uh, with my very good friend Paul, that that's that will always be that. Like I take this watch everywhere when I go when I go on trips, or this one, because, like I said, watches are meant to be gifted. And I was at with Paul at a jeweler, and we were looking and we were looking at different pieces. And he's like, "How are you thinking about getting like a Grand Seiko, and you don't even have just a normal Seiko diver?" And I put on a Samurai, and I'm like, "Oh, this is really cool." And I remember this is before the G-Shock happened. And I called home and I was like, honey, I'm thinking about, I was like, Christina, I want to buy this. She was like, eyes on the prize. Like, keep thinking about the Grand Seiko. I said, all right. So I passed on the Samurai and Paul watched me pass on it. And so then he got me one as a gift. And I'm just like, man. So both of these watches, I think of, I think of uh, a relationship with a very good friend. And it's like, one of these two is with me when I go on the road every single time, always. Uh, I cook in them. I, I wear, the, like, this is like, like every weekend I have at least one of these on, like almost all weekend. So watches are cool. It doesn't matter if it's like super expensive, whatever. What matters is if it's special and the people around them. Part of the reason why I think watches are a little bit more important than just, it's not just a hunk of metal. And it's not just like to commemorate something. It's, it's the relationship you're thinking about. And when I think about my good friend, Paul, especially with this watch that he gave me as a gift, I think about to where he and I really started to connect like we had known each other actually for years we had gone to hockey games he was a season ticket holder sat next to one of my closest friends in the world and it was kind of like hey how you doing how you doing and um during the stanley cup run for the washington capitals uh on a very special day uh it actually we had we had this long plan to get people into the building to see like a wnba game to watch the game on a on a on a jumbotron it was super crazy we had this big coordinated effort well we're waiting outside the arena at like 10 in the morning and Paul is there and he's rocking his, his no date sub. And I had a shirt that had like a Ford GT on. He's like, that's a nice car. Like, that's a nice watch. And like, that's the way I tell people. It's like, you don't know like how a relationship could start. It's like, we already kind of knew each other but had no idea we liked so many of the same things. And we spend like the next 14 X whatever hours together waiting in line, talking about watches, talking about cars, getting to know each other better. We get in, we sit together, we have fun. We watch a WNBA game because that's what, and then we watch the, the Capitals win the Stanley Cup. And like for Christine, bringing it back to her, we always said that if it ever happened, we wanted to be in that building around these people in that moment. And it happened on our wedding anniversary. That's where Paul and I like super connected. And it's somebody who gets me because like, unless you own your own business, unless you write payroll checks, unless you're up at night worrying about the things other people don't, you can't have those conversations with people. The fact that I can talk with Paul, like business, because he gets it. And so it's like, yeah. So I, these watches, they're super special to me. That's, it all started with that's a nice car, that's a nice watch. I wanted a watch that I would associate with my family and my wife. And we were walking around and we came upon the, the Journe Boutique in Paris. 